WNBBA in this in this edition, we are going to be doing um, a doing a find files. I had a uh, member, a subscriber, reach out to me and say, "Hey, um, file search used to be awesome in 2003. It doesn't exist. They got rid of it. <laughs> what do we do now?" So uh, it led to some internet research. My good friend Google went out and said, "Hey, what what can we do?" And I was able to find this code. So I'm going to just walk you through this real quick. Um, I've got it open. Uh, it will actually be on this page or in the comments. So, a couple things. The essence of this code is right here. And so let me just walk through that really quick. I'm going to stretch my window out just a little bit. Um, basically, what we're doing is we are doing. We're going to use a scripting shell exec command, and we're going to look inside of a folder that we pick, and we're going to look for a file type and it will also look within the subfolders. So this is actually really awesome co code. Um, you, it's actually, uh, it's probably better than using VBA because you're actually using kind of the Windows scripting um, and uh, VBA is for Excel, not necessarily for finding folders. And so this actually works out really, really well. So let's just walk through this. Again, it's, it's I was actually super impressed with it. Um, so. All right, so we're going to find a folder. We're going to say, hey, I want to look in a folder. I'm going to look in the desktop. And I am going to um, – it's going to – all I'm doing there uh, is I showed it. I selected my desktop. Now you've got to tell what what is that file path. And so you make that file path equal there. And then all I'm going to do is – doing is I'm adding a – adding a whack right there so that um, it has a correct folder path and now the file must contain what do you want it to contain so we're going to do wildcard or and then we're going to do x l s and then another wildcard i'm going to click ok and you'll notice that it actually goes in and pulls all of those file folders out it is ridiculously awesome. So let me just walk you through this end part because it did go pretty quick. Uh, if we go, oh, you know what I'm going to do? Here, I remembered I can actually do a default, and I'm going to put my default in as .xls. That way, you know, I'm always looking for an Excel type folder. Got to make sure your syntax right, or it yells at you, it turns red. So what we're going to do here. I do the same thing, go to my desktop, that's what we're selecting. Um, it's going to pull in my default, which is perfect. You'll notice that I've got, um, I've got those two combined. It goes and it creates this uh, scripting shell, and I combine those two pieces here. So I've got F and iBox, and you'll notice uh, a scripting shell actually will pull open up in this area when I run this. It was there, and then it's gone, and that's how fast this is. It's ridiculously quick. It's pretty awesome. All this is is saying we are going to put this in sheet one, in cell one, and we're going to make it the same size as our uh, our little array here. And our array in this case is 17. It's actually 17 wide, and so in this case we are actually transposing that. So we're instead of making it from left to right, we're just doing it from the top to the bottom. And it's putting that automatically in a range. I'm going to hit F8, and there it is. So those are actually all of the XLS uh, Excel files um, that I have on my desktop. What's funny is I did this, I was like, I forgot some of those. So anyway, that is a really quick, super fast way to script through some code to find, find stuff, um, to find uh, workbooks. Um, again, all the wildcard is is just an asterisk. That basically means anything before it can be anything, and anything after it can be anything. Um, it's kind of like, um, yeah, it's 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 a scripting thing. So anyway, um, keep sending those requests in. Uh, they're actually really kind of they're really fun to dig into. Hope this is really helpful. Make sure you subscribe to the Everyday VBA channel, and I hope you enjoyed.